Okay, the on-off switch is on the top of the scroll saw. There's a big red button and it says on and off. And on top of there, there's a speed dial that you can adjust your speed and it goes from zero to eight. The safety test tells you that the speed should be set at 75%, which would be about six and a half. The blade guard goes over the piece of wood and it has an area that goes around the front to protect your fingers. Your fingers should never go inside the blade guard. There's an adjusting knob here that adjusts the height of this. And because the saw blade goes up and down, you want this blade guard to be just over the piece of wood. Your safety test will say 1 8 inch above the piece of wood. Your finger should never be within 2 inches of the blades. So if your fingers have to be closer than 2 inches, if you were cutting on a really small piece of wood, we have push sticks that we can use and you can keep your hand back and hold a piece of wood down with a push stick and you never want to grab pieces of wood while the machine's running. You should always turn the machine off and then you can remove scrap pieces of wood. I would prefer actually that you use a push stick or something else rather than your fingers to remove scrap pieces of wood. If the blade ever breaks, and you should be able to tell the blade has broken because basically it won't be attached anymore. If the blade's broken at the bottom, you'll see that the, the top just lifts up out of there. And that would indicate the blade's broken at the bottom. And now the blade will be really loose if it's broken. If that's the case, you should turn the machine off. We need to unplug the machine. And then you need to let your teacher know that the blade has been broken. Okay, so you want to cut the material at a slow pace. Don't force the material into the blade. Don't have your thumb in line with the blade, even though the safety guard's in place. You want to keep your hands inside. And lastly, you want to hold the piece of wood down. The blade is moving up and down. And the scroll saw can cut pretty mild curves. For sharp curves, we need to cut what's called, what's called a relief cut. And that's going to allow the blade to um, break off this piece of wood, allow you to make a sharp curve. The other thing it does is it breaks this long cut up into little pieces. So even at sections where you may not have um, or need to cut a relief cut for a sharp curve, you may want to cut one. And we would continue that, and then as we cut your car out, that breaks off and it allows us to move the blade and make a sharp curve.